Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I think Roblox is breaking, or Lumber's breaking. I was taking a look at the, the failed assets that loaded in here, and one of those is the background sound of, uh, of Lumber. And if we go down to the shop, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Sound works. Like, what's going on? Is is Roblox going down? Is is the world coming to an end? <gasps> so many questions. And there's lots of stuff in the news about stuff that's going on with Ukraine and Russia. Um, and I'm trying not to address any of it, but a lot of you guys keep asking me questions, and I, mean, I don't know how to answer them for you guys. So. The best thing I can do is assure you, just relax, take it easy. Everything should work out in the end. If you're in Ukraine right now, okay, I feel for you guys. Like, I hope you're safe and I hope nothing bad has happened. Just, I don't know. I don't know how to address this, especially to such a, a younger audience in my channel. Like, <sighs> Maybe here. I know what I can do. I will add a file over here to WinAmp and let's go to here. And is it Easy Lemon? Is that the. That's the song. Okay, so turn that down just a little bit right there. I hope that's I hope that's not too loud for you guys. I haven't had a chance to test it beforehand, but I'll definitely leave that on so it's not quite as droning, I guess is the word, because that's definitely what it's going to be with just my voice. Um, last time we left off here in Lumber, which was quite a while ago, if you guys didn't notice, I'm enjoying the other aspects of Roblox, which has been so fun. I mean, it's it's been such a blast playing other games and just getting out of the mundane of of lumber. Okay, so I, ho I hope that doesn't offend anybody. But if it does offend you, you know what? Fine, be offended. Uh, being offended has never hurt anyone. You know, you can be offended all day long, and it's not going to change your outlook on life. I mean, it's not. It's not, you might have less respect for the person who offended you, but I mean, that's okay, right? There's nothing, nothing harmed, no harm, no foul, right? I just, I'm amazed at how many people nowadays just get offended. I'm offended. Well, okay, be offended. We used to have a saying whenever I was growing up, and I don't know if... Kids nowadays just don't use it or don't follow it, but it was called sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That that was the same. And I'm just surprised at how many people are so offended nowadays by words. Like And don't get me wrong, I do get offended, but I mean it's nothing to get upset about <laughs> that was a big pause break in between the uh, the song <laughs> so don't let your feelings get hurt and if somebody is saying things that does offend you like ignore them if they're not true then who cares you know and if it's just somebody being mean and, and hurtful there's there's no reason to play into that. There's no reason to like fight back or like if it's bad enough, then yeah, tell a teacher or tell a tell a boss, tell a coworker, tell HR. But I don't know. People just feel like it, it feels like everyone is overly sensitive in today's times. Like you, you can't say anything without somebody offending someone else and when Creek posted his opinion about Putin okay and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about don't worry about it but for those of you who do know 
He is a grown man. Right? And I, I'm sorry. I am a family-friendly channel. Yes, I will admit. But I do cuss. Like, I don't want, I don't want any of you to go under the guise of thinking, oh, Code Primate never cusses. I, I cuss. I was a correctional officer. I was in the Marine Corps. I have plenty of reason that I would be cussing in my past and currently. But when it comes to my, my channel, I keep it family friendly for everyone. Because <clears throat> I, I want I want your dog to enjoy, enjoy it. By the way, the person that commented that your dog is watching. Oh gosh, hold on. I should go and find that person. Hang tight for one second. Okay, I found the comment. This is this is cute. So I'm just gonna read this out loud. And your your comment got stuck in my catches for some reason. So um, this is from the name Manish. Says my dog and I watch you and all of your videos. We love them. Julia, my dog, finds your videos very entertaining. She jumps around, uh, all around whenever I play your videos. Keep creating more from one creator to another. So. Shout out to Julia, the dog who enjoys my videos. Julia, are you watching? Julia, over here, over here. Watch, watch, watch the video. Hi, hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. I, I don't, I don't know. It is Julia, right? J-U-L-I-A. I, I hope I said that right. But it's like little comments like that, that that's going to keep me family friendly. That's, that's what's going to keep me motivated to keep making videos to keep going on and just to enjoy life because that's precious um we lost our dog last year and uh, it was it was hard it was really hard um he's just old though like we got him whenever hope was two so i mean he lived about 15 years so uh, it's rough losing a pet and we all have to deal with it like <clears throat> if you plan on getting a pet one of the things about preparing yourself to own a pet is knowing that it will pass away eventually you will outlive it the only ones that aren't like that are like not parakeets, um, parrots, right? And parrots, I think they live for like 50, 70 years, something like that. But even then, that, that that's a huge commitment to a pet, right? And I think one of the purposes of pets is to help us deal with loss. When when you lose your pet, it's a it's a hard thing to to go through and it's even harder to try and explain to you kids so <clears throat> how do we get off on the subject of pets I, I have no clue oh yeah the julia the dog <laughs> again huge shout out thank you but if you have a pet pal that watches my videos along with you hug them and tell them thank you for spending time with you you know and just, just know that that companionship, that love of a pet, that's not going to get replaced. You're going to have wonderful memories and take time to appreciate your pets for them being there and, and putting up with our humanness. And for you being there and putting up with their petness. <laughs> I don't know. Just making chit chat small talk while I make a video on lumber which I'm excited to do it, it feels mundane and monotonous Monot monotonous Monomino. <clears throat> but coming in playing lumber and just talking I feel like that's what my channel's become and no matter what else I do in life I'll always have this to look back on and even after I pass away, which hopefully is no time soon, okay? I, I do plan on staying here. If, if my quest for immortality doesn't work out, you know, I'll have these videos here 
for uh, for a long time. Hopefully until YouTube collapses. I'm not saying that YouTube's going to collapse, but I mean we've seen lots of lots of things. Oh, by the way, um, a huge, huge heartfelt shout out to Restream. Um, if you guys don't know who Restream is, Restream is the comp. Oh gosh, is the company that I use to do all of my streaming services. Like they take Twitch, YouTube, Trovo, all those different streams, and they combine them into one. But the reason I want to give them a huge, huge, huge shout out is because they're based in Ukraine. That's where they started by by two brothers, I think, and. They took the time to evacuate all their employees, help them like assist with moves and get them to safe places long before the whole Russia thing started and happened. So I want to give huge recognition to those guys and what they're doing and let you let them know that our hearts are out to them. I know it's, it's a very confusing, hard time right now but and again I don't want to bring it up I really don't a lot of people come into my discord thinking that like they can just say and do whatever they want and that's not the case at all okay and it's not that I have a problem with anyone it's not that I have sides or biased or phobias I don't a lot of my actions are strictly there for the Discord. So when I say no religion, no politics inside my Discord, and you come back with like freedom of speech, fine. You can absolutely have all the freedom of speech that you want outside of my Discord. So to the two people who keep getting banned, you can't just say whatever you want inside my Discord and get away with it, even though you think it's appropriate and stuff like that. Same thing goes with my comments, okay? My comments are here to accept and love everyone. So when you start bashing other people in the comment section, you're gonna find yourself kicked from my channel pretty fast. And here's the crazy thing. You won't know that you're kicked. You will still see your own comment, but that comment will be hidden from the rest of the world. So you you don't even know. <laughs> I was actually looking at my kick list, ban list, hide from channel list the other day. And that thing's up to like almost 500 people. Which is a pretty big ratio. <laughs> ratio. Alright, I think we're, we're packed in pretty good. Pack it up, pack it in. Whoa. All right. So if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm actually uh, I'm collecting up all this lava wood and selling it off to get the next piece of land because this base is completely solo. I've not had, well, I've had a little help from Jingle in one episode, but I've not had any help building or money. This is This is to show you that it can be done in a in a private server all by itself you don't you don't need to trade or worry about exploiters whenever you're inside your own private server oh. is this kind of weird in first person would, would it be better if I did third person like this oh By the way, did you notice my shirt? We match. Oh, I forgot to shut the thing. Uh, 29,000, is that, is that enough for the next plot of land? The next plot, let's, let's see how much it was. Oh, that's weird, hold on. Pause. <laughs> 
the other son started playing. So you want to buy some land, eh? Yes, I do. All right, have some land. Do you want to expand it? Yes, I want to expand. 42,000. Oh, yeah, we're not. Oh, yeah, 42,000. We're at 29,000. So we're good. Quit. Why don't you want my land, please? <clears throat> the stress coming out of Reuven's mouth whenever you don't buy his land. No! And that is the old school dialogue as well. Which is kind of hard to follow along with, but I mean, if you understand a little bit of the Lua, you can you can get into it. You can you can make some pretty good dialogues. It's just understanding the language. Oh, by the way, if uh, if any of you are in school and you're wanting to like interview me for a project of some kind I have had requests and yes I do interviews and stuff like that if if you guys need it for a project <clears throat> make sure that you contact me on Twitter because everything else all the notifications are turned off I had too many years of people just ping 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 same thing with discord like I've got all discord notifications Turned off. I have people who try and call me all the time. It's, it'll never go through. Sorry. Whew. Should we? Should we be building something? Oh yeah, that little corner. That corner, um, I left it there to show you that like, not everything has to be con complete in your life. It's okay to have mistakes. It's okay to let things go unfinished. As long as you're enjoying life and letting everyone enjoy it as well. Because that's what life is about. It's not just about surviving. I mean, it's part of it is to survive, but if you're not meant to enjoy the luxuries of life, then why are they there? What's the point? You know? And that's hanging out with friends, buying that new video game, playing that new video game, hanging out at the mall, going and enjoying candy. Like, I don't know. A lot of people just put a lot of emphasis on like, oh, we need to diet and eat right and exercise. And I'll agree to an extent, but like, you don't want to go crazy. And that's, that's what a lot of people do, is they just, they go nuts, and there's no need for it. You can relax. It's okay. Is this all cherry wood? I don't know. We need to make one for walnut, don't we? Okay, this is cherry wood. I should, uh, I should probably make a little conveyor system or something to kind of help out there. What were we doing last time? Didn't I need to move stuff over? Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was pulling all this up, wasn't I? And this needs to go back down. So... Can I get it in there? I'm not gonna be able to get it in there. We're gonna have to take off layer two. All right, move. Okay, let's try Let's try slapping this one down. How far off are we coming? Two? And how far back did we need to go? That far? Yeah, and it's just slightly off. That's good. That's good. So. Oh, come on. Come on, don't be like that. Don't be like that. What in the world? Yeah. 
Now, if I'm right in my calculations, this should allow the wall to like slide right in there. That way we don't have to do all those crazy, whoops, missed one. Oh wait, no I didn't, that one's in the way. Here, we'll move you over. <sighs> and I have had a lot of people say, Code, you're very wise. Like You have great advice, stuff like that. And first off, thank you. Um, I appreciate it, but I don't know what makes you think I'm any more wise than you are, because we all know what we should and should not be doing in life, for the most part, and it's just kind of upsetting when people are like, well, I didn't know I could do that, I didn't know, what do you mean, like, be nice, don't be evil, love everyone and accept everyone, that's it. That's all it takes. Oh, this is... This is gonna get mundane and boring, just building this roof. I'm not gonna lie. It's not something that I'm... overly excited about redoing. Maybe we just do the sides. Leave the rest of the roof off by one. You know, it, it would still block light and, and rain that comes in. Oh, I guess not. We're gonna have a... A little bit of a gap there, aren't we? Just on each one. Dang it. Well, that won't work. That will not do, sir. We'll just have to have to keep going. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe I'll get the motivation to come in here one day when the camera's not on and just just build. Like just finish this out. Make it really nice for you guys. Maybe maybe I'll bring in some friends. We can all hang out and just, I don't know, have a movie Roblox gaming night with like the, the Discord staff. How's that sound? Maybe invite a couple of fans, maybe. Just thoughts, ideas. Planning though, that's one of my biggest downfalls because I'm not very much of a planner. I'm a more of on the fly, let's go kind of person. And that's with everything in my life. Especially when it comes to collaborations. And I've had a lot of mo lot more people in the last week asking about collaborations. I will tell you this. The answer is not no, but it's not yes right now. Because when I do collaborations, when I do videos, I have no clue what I'm going to do. Like tonight. I didn't even know if I was going to play lumber. I sat down, um, I, I drank some of my sparkling ice water, which is classic lemonade at the moment. I read through some DMs. By the way, DM means direct message, Dad. But I really, I didn't have a plan for tonight. Does that make sense? I, I don't know if this makes sense to anyone. I just know this is what happens in my head. I sit down, I want to record, and I go and play. <sighs> and what happens when my kids grow up? Like, when they both move out of the house and start in on college or starting on working for the man, and it's no longer me making videos for my kids. I mean, I'm not making videos for my kids right now. Let's let's be honest, they don't even watch me. But <clears throat> Hope and Oliver, if you're watching this right now, and it's in the future, because I know you're not gonna watch it tomorrow or when that, whenever this post, I want you to know that I love you and I'm very proud of both of you. I think you are both amazing kids, amazing teenagers, and I can't see. I, I can't wait to see what you do with your life. I can't wait to see where it goes. But I wanted to tell you, if I'm not here to see that, then I'm still very proud. And if your kids, if you have kids, if your kids are asking about me. I am more than proud of them as well. 
because I know your personalities and what you'll be teaching them. So I think it'll be good. There you go. A little message for the future of my kids, just in case. So if if I do pass in the future, then be sure to mark this video and have them come back to it. You, you can message them then. You don't have to give it to them right now. That'd be a little embarrassing to come in. Dad, I saw your message on YouTube. Oh, okay. Sorry. That was meant for the future. <laughs> Who's watching in 2022? You ever see those comments like, who's watching in 2022? And then you see it next year. Who's watching in 2023? Yeah, we're, we're all watching. That's, that's why we comment. I don't know. The internet is not, is not a safe place. It is by no means a place of perfection we do with what we can hey at least I've managed to stay out of like most of the drama you know but again sometimes the drama is what makes you famous people forget the drama later on and you're just famous and then you have to remember hey why did I get famous how did I get famous it's like, oh yeah, that. Wait, where's my recording software? Uh-oh. OBS, where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay. We're at 27 minutes, so we are almost done with the episode. And the last thing I wanted to leave you with is go create, okay? I want you to go and make things. Don't be destructive. Don't be trollish or bullying. Go and create. And if you need a place to start, I recommend Roblox Studio. Learn. There are tons of tutorials out there. And if it's not Roblox, then go learn Unity. Unity 3D, it's a gaming engine. And they have got courses and things that you can learn they've they've got like step-by-step -step tutorials they've got video tutorials they've got a ton of tutorials and you can get certified in making games so go go do it and if you don't do unity then uh, do unreal engine they also have a ton of tutorials and a ton of certifications that you can go for and I'm not saying, hey, I'm not in college yet, I'm, I'm, or hey, I'm too old already, or hey, I'm 39 It's and I work every day, there's no way I could go and do... Stop. Stop with the excuses. Stop with the I can't, there's no time. I've done it. I don't have any time. All right, and I'm still grinding away, learning every day taking tutorials, taking lessons, and just uh, increasing that knowledge. I think one of the biggest skills that you can have is having computer enthusiasm. Just being excited about the way computers work, how they work, learning everything you can about them. It's something I do every single day. Now it makes it a little socially awkward to try and talk to other people whenever it comes to um, normal conversation. Oh, we got halfway done, that's not bad. But, yeah, it's kind of like when people start talking football around me. Like, they talk about the Minnesota Vikings and, and the Chargers or the Dallas Cowboys and the, who else, the Cardinals. Like, so it doesn't matter, it's football, sports, anything sports related. I just don't get it. Like I, I understand it, and I think I understand it because I love gaming and I watch esports. So that I can relate to. Like you got your favorite teams, you got the people that you cheer for, and hey, let's go. But I don't understand football itself. So when somebody says, 
it's just a game to us, right? Kind of flip that back around on them. Like, football is just a game. If somebody says something like, well, I don't understand how you can just sit there and watch somebody else play a video game. I don't understand how you can sit there and watch somebody else play football. It's the same thing. It's, it's that drive to want to watch somebody else do amazing. And I hope you get to be one of those people that people watch. Ah, that's it. I'm done. 30 minutes. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. And I love you for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro.